Hi, my name is Tyler Vance. Today I'll be talking about planes of motion and axis of rotation. So maybe in your class you've talked about the different planes of motion and, and the axis of rotation. For me it took a little bit of time to wrap my head around how to bring both of those concepts together. So I'd like to explain that for you and hopefully it makes a little more sense. So again, I'm just going to briefly run through the different planes. So the, the different planes, you have your sagittal plane, which is a basically imagine a sheet of paper dissecting or separating the, the, the right and left sides of my body. And so you would look and you would see the sagittal plane if you looked from either side of me. Likewise, the frontal plane divides my body into anterior and posterior half. So if you looked and, and we're looking at the frontal plane, you'd see a, almost a piece of paper going through my body, dividing it into anterior and posterior halves. And then the transverse plane bisects my body into superior and inferior halves. And um, a lot of times you want to know the, the major types of motion that occur in, in each of these planes. So in the sagittal plane, the main types of motion, again, let's look at the sagittal plane. Um, you can see examples of flexion and extension. Um, I'd like to, uh, I'd wish I could get my legs up all, oh, so there's flexion and, and backwards is extension. So those are the, that's the motion that occurs in the sagittal plane. Frontal plane, you're going to see abduction and adduction. In the frontal plane, that's when you would best see abduction and adduction. And then the transverse plane, you kind of have to look above me to see this rotation well, is, you know, just pivoting or, or rotating in the transverse plane. So now, when we talk about axis of rotation, try to think about the motions that you see in each of these planes and try to think of the axis about which of these motions is taking place. So imagine my arm had fallen off and I wanted to stick it back on. So I used a big spear to spear my arm back on and then I could do flexion and extension. So if you, you see this spear, I'll use this marker here to visualize the spear, you can see that if it was going all the way through my body, it would lie in what plane? If you said the frontal plane, you are correct. So movement in the sagittal plane occurs about the frontal axis. You can see this, that this is the axis and it lies in the frontal plane. Likewise, when we look at motion in the frontal plane, again, frontal plane going like this, adduction or abduction and adduction, say my arm fell off again, I put in my spear to keep it on, to keep my arm so that the motion could rotate about that spear and this spear would be lying in this direction. And if I can turn to the side, that would be the sagittal plane. So motion in the frontal plane occurs about the sagittal axis. Okay, and last but not least is the longitudinal or vertical axis, both meaning the same thing. So, the longitudinal axis is actually the intersection of the frontal plane and the sagittal plane. So it would lie in the center of my body. And when I rotate, that motion occurs, again, let's stick a spear in me from the top down to my feet, and you will see that is the axis or the, longi the vertical or longitudinal axis where rotation occurs about. So I hope that was able to clear some things up. Thanks for watching.